man, what's going on, YouTube family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you know the next time we drop a video. All right, y'all. So today I'm heading to the store. Um, and this video was brought up by my last short. When I posted it, somebody said, what the, is that raw? Well, like, yes, sir, that is raw. That is raw meat. We do feed our dogs raw meat. There's a big myth about feeding dogs raw meat. And I'm going to tell you the one I had when I was growing up. If you feed your dog raw meat and they taste the blood, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm driving to the store. Y'all going to ride with me to the store today. If you feed your dog red meat and they taste blood, they become vicious. Well, you guys, I'm here to tell you that is the biggest myth of all times. You feed your dog raw red meat, blood, it does not become vicious. A dog is like a child. It is going to act the way that you raise it. If you do not raise it, it would be wild. It would do what it wants, just like a child. All right, so I know everybody like, why feed raw and just go get, when well, you can just go get kibble? Well, Kibble versus raw is a subject that I'm not going to try to differentiate today or go into depths about it today. I'm going to give you my personal opinion on Kibble versus raw. And this is what I think about it. And this is my thought preference. All right. So kibbles are good for dogs. Some have better nutrients and ingredients than others. But kibbles is just like processed food. When you go to the store and you buy those bag of chicken nuggets, bag of french fries, or you go to McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Wendy's, all that's processed. And I feel like kibble is the same thing. Now, we all buy kibble because it's a quick, easy fix. So, having said that, kibble is not... Uh, Buying, buying it at the store, it's just like it's just like buying that. So I haven't said that. Kibbles is an easy fix. You just dump it into the bowl and you continue with your day. You give it to your dogs and you continue to do your day. And that's why I think we a lot, a lot of us feed it because there's no work behind just giving a dog kibble. It's just, hey, we throw it in the bowl, we give it to them, we go on about a day. Now, raw is, it takes a little work, meal prepping and all that. But raw, it gives up more nutrition. It gives a new balance. You know, you can get your omega-3s, you can get your, your lean, your fat, your your, your grind, your grains, and, you know, your fillers, and your fruits, your vegetables, all that in the raw diet. You can put all that in the raw diet, and that's a lot better. It's just like if you go to get you a salmon and asparagus and brown rice, all that's better than, you know, throwing some chicken niggas in the air fryer that you got in a package and throwing some french fries in the air fryer and you get a pack. So we all eat bad, but every, at least once a week at LOB Kindles, we try to feed our dogs a good, healthy meal, and that mainly comes on Sunday. So I treat it like Sunday dinner. So you guys, stay tuned. I'm about to go in the store. I was going to record at first. I'm going to record while I'm in the store. I'm going to record while I'm in the store of what I'm getting. But stay tuned, y'all. More to come. All right, y'all. I know I said I was going to do the video recording in the store, but it was super loud in there, and you guys weren't going to be able to hear me. So I bought everything, and I brought it out to the car. So today, I'm going to break down everything we got and tell y'all what we're using it for, for what I'm using it for. So we got rice. I was looking for brown rice. They was out. So I got parboiled rice, which I love parboiled rice, and I think it's a little bit better than white rice. White rice has a lot of sugar. And with this heat, you don't want your dogs to take in a lot of sugar. All right, so that is the base. That's going to be their base to help them get full. Now, in getting rice, you got to have a vegetable on the side. And I know this is somewhat of a process, but hey, I'm going to steam it. So you got steamed vegetables. Um, it's got everything in it. It's got broccoli. It's got carrots. It's got peas, snap peas. And it's got water water uh, chestnuts. I won't get them the water chestnuts because I don't know what that'll do to them. So we're going to pull those out and put those to the side. All right. So they won't get the water chestnuts. 
for the fruit. We always add a fruit on our raw base diet. We have yogurt at home, so I did not buy yogurt. So yogurt will go in their food. For the fruit, they get blueberries. Y'all know about blueberries. Y'all eat them. And they get strawberries. Strawberries. That's that's gonna be their base fruit today. You know. All right. So that's that's what's gonna start the meal off. And we like I said, we're gonna put yogurt in. Let me put all this bag in the bag. All right. Next, on to the meats. So I, tr I wanted to try something new today. Uh, my dogs love tuna fish. So I wanted to try something new. So we bought sardines today. I don't, I, I really don't know if they're going to eat it, but we're going to try it. I usually do cans of tuna fish, but wanted to try something new, so we did sardines. So we got four things of sardines for $4. Everybody get their own can of sardines. And also, the other meats we have is the ground chuck. Hey, you guys, if you guys are feeding your dogs this, make sure you got 80% lean, 20% fat, all right? That is in, that is very important when you're buying ground chuck for the dogs. So we got ground chuck as well. Good stuff, good stuff for them. And last but not least, something to get them a little taste buzz, something to get them a little buzzle. We got them some beef, beef. We got them some beef. Yeah, um, this is the boneless beef. Boneless beef. Now, I know everybody say, well, it's good for dogs to eat bones. Yes, it is very good for dogs to eat bones. But I have dogs that chew faster than anybody that I know. And they get choked and they throw up and they do all this extra stuff. And it's it's a mess sometimes. So I try to stick. When I do bone, like when I gave them that last meal, I had two dogs get choked up. So I'm I'm very skeptical about giving them balls. But we did a boneless thing today. Like I said, on top of all this, some yogurt will go in there with all of this to mix it in and make it a whole meal, complete meal. So, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said, I am working on doing an interview with someone and posting it to the YouTube and having them give you guys a better breakdown of giving a dog a raw diet. All right, your dog doesn't have to eat kibbles every day. You can do this once or twice a week. This, all that stuff you just seen, just ran me about twenty five bucks. That's that's nothing. Um, a thing of food would last you twenty five dollars. Get you a thing of food that'll last you maybe two, a week, maybe. In my case, three four days because I got more dogs. But if you got one dog, twenty five dollar thing of food will last you a week or two. So everybody's situation is different. So. But as you guys can see, this is not a full raw-based diet, but this is a good raw-based diet to give them something to put on their stomach so I'm not eating yesterday and just having water. Um, and we do that every Saturday, and then Sundays they have um, a raw meal like this or something similar, and then, you know, we go from there. So this is just a video showing you guys how we feed our raw when we do it ourselves. When I get my raw from Miss Dorothy, it's a totally different ball game. So that's that. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Be ready. We got more to come. I haven't been showing the dogs lately because I'm transitioning into some new things. We also moving, so it's a lot going on right now. So I can't just show you guys the dogs and everything. So we're in the process of moving, and we're in the process of getting stuff together. So as soon as all of that is done, I promise you guys, when we move, you guys are going to see the dogs a lot more. All right? So, stay tuned. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Keep watching because we're getting to that point where YouTube is going to start paying me, and which that means that I can start doing more for my subscribers. All right? So, stay tuned. Stay locked in. Be blessed. Y'all stay safe. Peace. This is Travis L.O.B. Kimmels. We out.